all know that Amber and Kara have been intimate with each other at one point in their life. But it seems like some of those feelings may still be lingering in Amber's heart as she's shown concern about Kara's problem with substance addiction. Amber has shared some sort of relationship with Kara and cares for her, which is why she may need to rescue her ex-lover. Kara is struggling with drug addiction and it is destroying her life. Her battle with heroin addiction has gone on for several years, but it seems to have gotten worse in recent days. And we're as worried as Amber. Cara Delevingne has sparked fears for her well-being after a series of worrying pictures and videos emerged of the model. Fans have shown concerns over Cara's recent video where she can be seen stumbling around barefoot and tripping before getting inside of the car. In the episode, Kara can also be seen puffing on a cigarette while playing with the dog on the roadside. Throughout the video, she looks fidgety as she spins around several times. According to the brag, the video surfaced after she reportedly disembarked rapper Jay-Z's private jet in Van Nuys Airport in Los Angeles. In the new video, Delavine 30 seems unstable as she restlessly goes to and fro while stumbling around. Someone claiming to be one of Kara's closest friends told The Sun, We're incredibly concerned. The situation has been building for a few weeks now and Kara's family is involved. There's talk of staging some kind of intervention and making sure Kara gets the help she may well need. She's been burning the candle at both ends. The video has sparked online discussions as netizens are convinced that Kara has a drug problem. While some social media users requested her friends from Hollywood to take care of her, others have asked her to seek professional help. These Hollywood friends include Amber. However, fans have taken to Twitter to voice their concerns over Delavine's condition in the video, as they're nearly convinced that she is going through a drug problem. One user tweeted, No one liked when people made fun of Johnny because of his addiction, so I'm expecting to see the same kindness towards Kara because drug addiction is a disease, not a character flaw. Kara Delevingne is definitely on drugs and I'm worried about her, said another concerned fan. At first, the Kara Meg thing seemed funny, then uncomfortable, now worrying, lol. I don't know whether to be worried about Kara or upset and weirded out because her behavior around Meg is giving harassment vibes. I think I'm both? It looks like she is on strong drugs, added another person. This user wrote, Can we please get Cara Delevingne some help instead of photographing her while she is clearly on some types of drugs? Y'all have no morals or empathy for others. Addiction is real and it kills. The 30-year-old is one of the most popular faces in modeling and is known for her outgoing personality but in a candid interview with Vogue almost seven years ago, Delavine spoke out about having to grow up quickly due to her family circumstances. It shapes the childhood of every kid whose parents had an addiction. You grow up too quickly because you're parenting your parents. My mother's an amazingly strong person with a huge heart, and I adore her, but it's not something you get better from, I don't think. I know there are people who have stopped and are fine now, but not in my circumstance. She's still struggling, she said. Genetics play a huge role in how a person turns out to be, so it's not surprising to see Kara fall into this pit of drug addiction since it's been a reoccurring trait in her family. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Kara's battles with mental health problems may also have a huge role to play in her addiction. She also used the same Vogue interview to open up on the challenge of mental illness, saying that she was on a cocktail of drugs and therapy as a teen. This is something I haven't been open about, but it's a huge part of who I am. All of a sudden, I was hit with a massive wave of depression and anxiety and self-hatred, where the feelings were so painful that I would slam my head against a tree to try and knock myself out. I never cut, but I'd scratch myself to the point of bleeding. I just wanted to dematerialize and had someone sweep me away, she said. The worst thing was that I knew I was a lucky girl, and the fact that you would rather be dead, you just feel so guilty for those feelings, and it's the vicious circle. Like, how dare I feel that way? So you just attack yourself some more. Kara is the daughter of Pandora and British property developer Charles Delevingne. In a 2020 interview with the Daily Mail, Pandora candidly spoke about her long battle with addiction to drugs. The mother of three revealed she'd been experimenting with heroin within weeks of her 18th birthday. 
I had one go and that was it, she told the newspaper. It was the drug for me. It gave me all the things I didn't have. Self-confidence, mainly. My parents, who had to be quite strong with me by the end until I hit rock bottom, checked me into a treatment center in Weston Supermare. The now 63-year-old added, Pandora said addiction led to her developing abscesses on her arm and contracting septicemia, a form of blood poisoning. Despite kicking heroin, Pandora continued to battle drug abuse for a long time. Later, it was morphine pills, opiate-based pills, the strongest painkillers you can get. I just wanted to be able to live a normal day without the anxiety or what I thought was normal. For a while, I would, but of course, the addiction caught up to me. It always does, she told the mail. In her 2020 interview, Pandora also opened up about how her addiction affected her husband Charles and their three daughters, Chloe, Poppy, and Kara. For Charles, it's hell. I think he's really suffered, Pandora candidly admitted. But he says he loves me and that he'll put up with the bad times because the good times are so amazing and special. It's worth waiting for. Pandora also revealed her daughter suffered abandonment issues when she went away for treatment. The girls have had to live with me being too ill to mother them. When I went to treatment, I just disappeared without them knowing or understanding where I was going. They suffered from abandonment, from a lack of consistency, and from me being odd. While I was stoned, I was odd. All I know is I heard them irrevocably. They lost all hope, really. Kara started modeling at the age of 10 and went on to model for Chanel, Fendi, and Burberry before turning her hand to acting. She said she quit modeling in 2016 due to industry pressures. Writing for Time Motto, she said, Yes, your career is very important, but it's not the most important. Of course, I'm proud of my accomplishments, but I wasn't genuinely happy. But the latest troubling pictures appear to show the strain of earning her $100 million fortune by 30. Her appearance has raised questions about how young models are left to their own devices in the whirlwind of the modeling industry. Professor Carolyn Mayer, author of The Psychology of Fashion, said, The model industry is peopled by young and potentially vulnerable workers who are typically self-employed and do not have adequate support. For many, their careers are short and they endure working conditions such as pressure to perform 24-7 and always look their best. That is damaging to their mental health. And Kara is by no means the first model to fall victim to the catwalk curse. Kate Moss was nicknamed Cocaine Kate after she was pictured snorting the Class A drug in 2005. Kate, who at the time was dating Libertine's frontman Pete Doherty, lost work with Burberry as a result. In 2015, she was escorted by police off an easy jet flight at Luton Airport after calling the pilot a basic bitch. Passengers told how she was swigging vodka from the bottle and getting up out of her seat when the seatbelt sign was on. Now sober Kate even manages to poke fun at her wild days, joking at a campaign event for Diet Coke. Well, I've always loved Coke. Kate's catwalk buddy Naomi Campbell also had her fair share of drama. The model who started posing aged 15 has had a checkered history of assaulting staff with phones. She's admitted to throwing a jewel-encrusted Blackberry at an assistant's head in 2005 and another phone at a maid in 2007. She was handed community service at the New York City Department of Sanitation and turned up every day in Couture. In 2009, she was given a suspended sentence for assaulting a photographer in Italy. But the risk of modeling is not just confined to the 90s and noughties. Model for DeJour, Bella Hadid, recently opened up about how she struggled with alcohol. Aged just 17, this star was arrested for driving at twice the legal limit. Last year, she decided to quit drinking after a scan showed how drinking had impacted her brain. An industry that encourages drug abuse to this extent was bound to catch up to someone like Kara, who already had a turbulent childhood and an addicted mother. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again with more updates on everything. Goodbye!